Hey, my name is Amy and welcome to my channel, a place where I combine both my passion for music and for running. In today's video, I'm going to cover 10 unwritten, unofficial rules of running. Feel free to check me out on Instagram at amy.spurcabney for more running and music related things. While these may not be official rules, they're more like friendly suggestions to keep you safe when you run and to help you not become that runner. And if you don't know what I mean by that, maybe it's a good idea you're watching this video. Whether you're a beginner runner or been running for a very, very long time, I hope you find these enlightening, entertaining, or things to think about on your next run. So let's do it. The first unwritten rule is to wave to other runners, not cyclists. Cyclists already think they own the road, and waving to them might encourage them, or they might think it's something worse. First off, you never know how a smile or a wave could encourage another runner, especially if they're going through a really rough patch in their run. And it's just a friendly thing to do. However, you can't get too upset if somebody doesn't wave back to you. I often find myself in the zone, especially if I'm doing speed workouts or just in a long run, I'm really tired, and I don't see people when they go by or they just go by too quickly. And if they wave, I just, by the time I realize, they're just long gone. So if this happens to you when you see me, don't be offended, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Or they might be weirded out that a random stranger is waving to them. You never know. It's also happened to me that I've seen somebody waving and thought they were waving to me, and so I waved back only to realize that they were waving at somebody behind me. This is the part of the video where I unsuccessfully tried to explain why our photos are on the ground and not on the walls. Basically, our apartment has cement walls and our sticky things after six months let go and within two days of each other, our photos fell off the wall. Now they're just chilling there until we figure out what to do with them. Who puts cement walls in apartments anyways? The next rule is for safety for yourself and for other runners, cyclists, or pedestrians. Rule number two is to use your arms to indicate if you're stopping or moving. It's very similar to also when you bike, that you use your arms to indicate like if you're turning right, stop, or left. Left. You want to indicate when you're moving or passing by using your hand to indicate the direction that you're moving. This way, if somebody also is trying to pass you and you don't indicate, they could run into you. It's dangerous to suddenly stop when you're running, especially if people are behind you as they could run right into you. It's also best to pass people on the left, much like if you were driving. You can also use your voice to indicate if you're moving directions or stopping. This brings me to the third rule, which is to move off to the side of the path, sidewalk, or road if you are stopping. This way you don't block the path for other people coming behind you. There's nothing quite as annoying as having the whole path blocked off, especially if you're trying to do speed work and you're trying to get around them, which takes you into the other lane, which is also dangerous. It's just being aware of other people who are coming behind you and not to block or get in the way of their workout. Rule number four is to look both ways before you cross the road or path. I've actually had a few close calls with other runners who just blindly ran across the path without doing a shoulder check and just, just looking in general. And thankfully I was paying attention and could stop, but it was really dangerous if you don't look. You need to be aware of your surroundings for your own safety, but for the safety of other people around you. This goes for crossing the road, if there's a cyclist or a car coming and they are much bigger than you and they will do a lot more damage if they hit you. Rule number five, be careful when wearing headphones and listening to music. While music is the best, and though I might be slightly biased, it can be fun to listen to music for inspiration or even just encouragement. However, blasting your music very loudly can be quite annoying, especially if other runners don't have the same taste in music as you. It can also be super dangerous if you don't hear a cyclist dinging that they're passing you, or if there's a car driving nearby you, for example. Another issue, if you're blasting your music too loudly, you can't hear how your feet is hitting the ground. One cue I find really helpful when I run is that I hear my feet getting louder or my footsteps getting louder. It's an indicator that I need to think about lifting my heels and that I'm not activating my glutes properly. But if you're listening to music too loudly, you won't be able to hear this cue. There are headphones that are made for running that don't block out the sound completely, and I'll list a few of them in the description. Rule number six is to run on the right side of the path or sidewalk. This also applies if you're running on the road, you want to face traffic. 
The key thing to remember that if you're running alone and on the right side of the path, good job, that you want to be more on the edge of the right side. This way, if someone's cycling or running a little faster than you are, they're able to pass you without having to go into the other lane. This is just safer for everyone. Rule number seven. Seven, seven. <laughs> if you're running or walking in groups, try to stay too abreast. This way you don't block the entire path. Running side by side can even get hard at times when the path narrows in. So when that happens, you should run in a single file. Then you can move back over to twos when it's safe and convenient. It's really fun to run in groups and it's just important to remember that other people are trying to enjoy the path just as much as we are. Rule number eight, track wisdom. Tracks often have posted guidelines for their own specific track. So it's very important that you read those before you use the track. However, in general, you wanna run on the track counterclockwise. Again, unless indicated. The inside path of the track is for people who are running consistently or doing speed work. The outer lanes are for people who are doing easy pace running or just walking. If you're coming up to somebody who's running slower than you, it's very important to do a few things. You want to shoulder check to make sure that no one's coming behind you. You want to indicate that you're moving with your hand or arm just like I said in rule two. You can also use your voice to say that you're passing them. Do not walk blindly across the track lanes as somebody could run into you. It's just unnecessarily dangerous and just takes two seconds to look both ways. Again, before you check out a track, see if they have posted rules or just guidelines and make sure you follow them. Rule number nine. This one is more race specific, but I thought it was a good one to throw in. And that is to not run in the race shirt that they provide for the race. You have to earn that shirt. Also, you don't have the time to check out if it shapes or it's even comfortable to run in. The age old rule is nothing new on race day. I actually didn't know this rule when I ran my first half marathon and I ran in the shirt. Thankfully, it was okay. However, I kind of wish I had chose something warmer on that day as it was freezing. I also tried a gel on the race, which was not the smartest thing because I had never eaten a gel before and I was definitely not feeling the greatest by the end of the race. So don't be like me and make those mistakes. And lastly, to rule number 10 is spitting. It's natural, it happens to everyone, but if you have to spit, make sure no one is near you when you spit. No one wants to get hit with your body fluids, especially now during COVID craziness. As well, when you're running, you want to look around to make sure no one is around you before you spit. Also, try to spit on the side and not right in front of you, as no one wants to run on your yucky spit. Again, it happens to everyone, but just try to be a little nice and considerate about it. I hope you enjoyed these very unofficial and unwritten rules for running, and maybe found them a little entertaining and a friendly reminder to be super careful when you run. How about you? Do you know any more unwritten rules for running? If so, please share them in the comment section. I'd love to read them. We should always try to aim to enjoy our run for ourselves. However, we also want to be considerate and nice towards other runners, cyclists, or people just trying to enjoy the outdoors just as much as you are. If there's any video topic that you'd like to see me cover, please share them in a comment. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. As well, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Happy running, and I'll see you next time.